Digital recording technology is always impressing in both quality and innovation and has not stopped. The only major problem with this is that the price value of technology has also risen to accommodate both the research and the development involved with proposing this technology for the consumer market. Only when the technology gets old and deprecated do they become more economical solutions for the consumer, but that is not always the case. Psyonix is a company that is focused on providing a solution for outdoor enthusiasts who perform in both day and night. The Psyonix Aurora is a series of products that are designed to function for this demographic by providing a durable camera with the capability of offering both day and nighttime recording functionality in a compact and economical package. The Psyonix Aurora Pro is primarily a night vision camera with the ability to record in three different light settings, day, twilight and night. The camera records in 720p at a frame rate of 60 frames per second but can be lowered for more storage space. The photo mode is capable of taking 9 megapixel images in any of the aforementioned modes. The Aurora Pro weighs 274 grams, which is around 50 grams heavier than the original Aurora, and is waterproof resistant to IP67. The included lithium ion battery has a life of just over 2 hours of continuous use and only takes a quarter of the time to fully charge. One of the main features of this camera is the ability to view low light scenes in color with and without the assistance of IR light. An IR light is not integrated with the camera for extended battery life and retaining the small form factor. The lens at the front of the camera looks large, however as printed on the glass is a 16mm lens with a field of view of 44 degrees, capable of f1 1.4 to 5.6 which changes depending on the scene selection. Unlike action cameras, the Aurora has a manual focus ring that allows for more control over the scene and allows for a potentially higher quality image. The camera on the Psyonix Aurora Pro uses the Psyonix XQE CMOS image sensor, which is advertised to enhance light sensitivity by a factor of 10, compared to other sensors in the market. This sensor uses ultra-low-light semiconductor technology, which assists in developing visible, low-light scenes in a digital format and in a relatively high refresh rate. At the front of the camera, with the focus ring, is the scene mode ring, which allows you to actively switch modes whilst operating the camera. The scene ring is followed by simple crosshair controls that are used to view and navigate the menus in the device's UI, and control the electronic zoom and gain. The shutter or record button is ergonomically shielded from accidental activation behind the crosshair controls and leads to the electronic viewfinder at the rear of the camera. Next to the viewfinder is a fairly clicky diopter dial which controls the diopter focus adjustment on the viewfinder itself. Included under the viewfinder is an IR sensor to detect when the eye is near or away from the EVF. Underneath the camera is a typical camera mount with detent for the tripod mount. You can also find the cover for the micro USB port between the mounting thread and the camera mode dial, which shows four different modes followed by settings mode. Each mode dictates a different recording function and allows the user to quickly switch between modes whilst using the viewfinder. Most of the settings for the camera can be found by clicking on the set button, once for camera mode specific options and a long press of the set button for universal options. The photo camera mode has the following features, shutter speed, first shot, HDR, self timer, panorama and time lapse. The video camera mode has many settings which include overlay toggle, EVF timeout, night glow color and inverting the image on the camera. The compartment that houses the lithium battery and the microSD card can be accessed by removing the viewfinder housing. This is an interesting design on the Aurora, as it leads to the belief that different modular applications will be available to replace the viewfinder in the near future. One feature of the Sinex Aurora Pro that has become evident for many reenactors and enthusiasts is to be able to mount the Aurora on a helmet system relative to how night vision optics would be mounted. This is made possible due to the Lions Gear Solutions dovetail mounts, which allow for dual monocular mounting of the Aurora. Another more prominent feature for the Aurora Pro is the ability to pick a tinny mount it to a rifle to be used as an assisted optic for shooting at low light. 
The Psyonix Aurora Pro is quite large and looks more like a small handheld spotter than a night vision optic. The camera, however, is light and not as large as many other competitors within its price range. The Aurora Pro is primarily in a polymer housing, which does make it look slightly cheap. However, it feels and provides a good tactile feel when operated. All the buttons on the Aurora feel very nice and are very easy to operate, which is great for when you cannot physically see the controls at night. Although the user can see what recording mode they are using based on looking at the EVF, the recording dial has very little tactile identifiers to confirm which mode the camera is in. The focus ring and scene mode ring are very ergonomic as they can be easily used with the supporting hand without visual inspection. Comparing the Pro to the other models of the family, you can see that there is a nice bronze detailing which gives it that extra touch of premium factor. Bear in mind, this is just an aesthetic wow factor and a way to identify the Pro from the other Aurora models. The Psyonix Aurora is designed to film and take photos of both day and night scenes and does so with ease due to the simple function of the shutter or recording button. Videos are recorded in 720p at a frame rate of 60Hz in a MOV format. The quality of the photos is not much to be expected, however the main purpose of the Aurora is to be able to take night vision recordings and will hence be focused more on within this review. The quality of the image for both photo and video mode reflect the natural ability of the human eye, which is a great achievement considering the eye adapts to the lack of light to take in more of it when needed. Even in day scene modes, the images are slightly brighter than what the eye can see as the sensor is able to bleed more light in for the image. It's however only when night scene mode is used that the clarity of the image becomes evident. It's remarkable how color can make a huge difference for both the naturalness of the image at night and the ability to identify objects in the distance. It is also worth noting that the Aurora is great for spotting IR emitting devices in the distance. The Psyonix Aurora Pro's most useful feature is the video mode. The Aurora is an interesting camera that cannot perform as well as a broadcast camera with IR modes. However, it has a smaller form factor and does not need as much assistance with lighting. One cool new feature is the availability of a crosser within the viewfinder. It is not very customizable and is unfortunately not capable of being zero to a rifle. However, a clever user would opt to use a riser mount that allows for elevation and windage adjustments to gain the full use of the camera as a night vision shooting optic. With basic telemetry such as compass headings and providing horizontal and vertical readings of angle, the Aurora Pro could definitely fill the role of being rifle mounted with a little bit of forward thinking and DIY enthusiasm. Psyonix provides a Picatinny mount for the Aurora series and has specified that the Aurora Pro is capable of handling 223 caliber rifles. One feature that will prove to be useful to many users who would like to use the Aurora Pro as a remote viewing device is the Wi-Fi function. This allows for the camera to be mostly controlled by a Wi-Fi capable mobile device. The app is capable of viewing live views from the camera and controls some of the digital features within its software. This unfortunately does not include the focus or the scene modes, so those would have to be set beforehand. The battery life of the original Psyonix Aurora was unfortunately not very reliable and was dependent on factors we could not measure. The Psyonix Aurora Pro, however, did not show this issue and provided two hours of recording time on both batteries that we had access to. The only time we had found that the battery did not last the full two hours was when the Wi-Fi remote viewing was being used. One benefit is that the Aurora is capable of charging from an external source. However, the camera seems to be unresponsive when plugged into a PC. This means if you can only record video with an external battery source and will not be able to do so plugged into a laptop or mobile device. The front lens of the Aurora is scratch resistant, however is not invulnerable to impacts. Lion's Gear Solutions have innovated for this problem and have not only provided a mounting solution for helmet mounting, but have also created a Perspex lens cover for the Aurora. Although it'd be nice to see Psyonix provide these accessories with their products, it is nice to see third parties investing in the product as well. What's nicer is that Psyonix isn't shy to recommend these third party products as they've recommended them to customers multiple times. The Psyonix Aurora Pro is a digital night vision capable camera with a relatively low form factor, 
and recording functionality. A camera like this has a lot of potential, especially when you see the price tag attached to the Aurora. The Sinex Aurora Pro costs around a thousand pounds and is fairly well priced considering the features and the technology used in the product. There are not many products that can be easily compared, such as other night vision devices, such as the FLIR BMVDs and the PVS-14s. These products are not comparable, either due to how the night vision technology works, or due to the fact they cannot take photos or videos. The Psyonix Aurora Pro is a very capable camera with some technical limitations, which do well with the pricing of the product. It is nice to see a higher tech Aurora with better technical specs, but it would be nice to see new advancements such as high recording capabilities and a built-in flood IR. This is not a limitation that gives an issue to the Sinex Aurora series, but an enhancement that we are sure would be most welcome. The Aurora Pro is perfect for budget night vision solutions that do not require overly specialized solutions such as adventurers, law enforcement, and gameskeepers. There is a prevalent airsoft scene for the use of the Aurora in place of more expensive night vision devices with the advantage of being able to record. However, it cannot be compared to them due to the difference in technology used and the specialization. So we need to start recording. So you should be able to see that now. And we can go lights off. Okay, this is what it's like daytime. This is what it's like twilight. This is what it's like night. There's barely any light in here. In fact, I can't see without this. Oh, bloody hell, I can't see. I'm sure there's a target here. That was literally the paper target. I'm gonna bump into something. There we go. And that's, that's the end of the range.